Hey, welcome back to the vlog. In this episode, I'll be installing my front brake caliper, bleeding it, and setting up the brake. Hey, welcome back again. Thank you for watching. First off, before I even start, I'd like to a shout out to Joseph Ferreira. This guy is so awesome. He's so observant. He actually hears every hears and sees everything that goes on in the video. He once noticed uh, when I did the chapter about uh, servicing my car, he noticed exactly what date. He looked at the sticker on the top with the 360 degree camera when I need to service. And he actually heard this vlog today in this video. Yeah, and he asked me in the comments, is this a woodpecker? So thank you, Joe. Thank you, Joe. And let's get on. So this is the caliper, the front caliper, brake caliper I took off. Uh, it was silver. I painted it. Now I'm going to show you how I install it and run the uh, brake fluid into it. And of course, bleed the air out of the system. So, so first thing is getting the right uh, tools. Uh, very specific with brake line, they want you to have a specific torque, and I didn't have a torque wrench, so just picked up at Harbor Freight. Boy, I love that store. I just love to go and waste my money over there. Uh, a torque wrench with uh, a few adapters at the end, so I can actually torque it to the specifics. Uh, and a little hose to bleed some uh, of the oil. The oil is very abrasive, very corrosive. It's at, it actually eats up paint. So most important is actually to, to uh, cover the handlebar, the whole uh, wheels, all areas that are painted with a lot of towel and some rags. So you don't want to get any, any oil, any fluid on your uh, paint. The first part is easy. Just installing the caliper back on with the two bolts tightening it. I need to check later on if there's specifications for what torque it needs. Next will be connecting a new gal for a uh, brake line. Uh, uh, BMW has its own its own hard uh, wiring that they like to keep. So it's this uh, this hard cable that BMW uh, always wants you to keep that connects right there. And then the rest of the cable or the brake line to the pump to the cylinder over there. So this is the part where they want you to use a crush uh, washer. So the actual uh, sealing is is tight, no uh, no uh, liquid leak out of there. But they don't want you to over torque it, so you don't ruin the, ruin the threads. So I'm gonna initially uh, put this in and go check uh, the required torque. That's my book. Brake. Brake system torque specification. Brake line to caliper nut, 12 to 15. It's gonna be between 12 and 15. This is my torque wrench. Problem is, it only takes 3 eighths end. What do I do? This is what I do. I bought this. And end set fit one of these on these. The torque should be very close. There's very little uh, leverage added, so the torque will be very close. The moment is uh, is going to be pretty much close to between 12 and 15. That's what I'm going to do. Okay, this is America. Uh, the stupid machine, the stupid uh, torque wrench, comes only in uh, foot pounds. So I found a solution. Okay, Google, how much is 14 Newton meters in foot pounds? Here is information from metric conversion. Yeah, just give me the answer. 14 would be 10.33, I guess. Yeah, it is, actually. Okay, okay, I take back my words. I'm the idiot here. There it is. That is in foot pound. Switch it over. <laughs> there you are in newton uh, meters so i guess i'm the idiot here oh my god look at these chinese inventors or builders you see how they put the adapter with the torque wrench literally you can't fit it on you just can't fit it on because the this the top of the torque wrench 
is touching the cable. This whole thing is garbage. It's useless. They should have made the arm, this arm, a little bit further out. Okay, found a solution. I don't know. Put an extension so the, the torque wrench doesn't touch. It should be the same, uh, same torque uh, parameters won't really change. So let's do it this way. So you see this click type torque wrench? They give you a lifetime warranty. I don't really need a lifetime warranty because I'm returning it. This is a piece of shit. It actually ruined. It never clicked. And this little adapter right here, because it's open, it actually, it actually expanded and slipped over this. And you can see it actually, exactly shred, uh, shred the actual fitting, the bolt. So I, f I finished up uh, mounting it, uh, tightening it according to whatever uh, feels like 12 uh, newton uh, meters to me. Whatever, hope it's gonna be okay. Crushed uh, these two uh, crush washers and now we're gonna run the uh, brake fluid and hope it works. Here comes my lovely wife. What I did is I got everything uh, wrapped up ready uh, so the brake fluid doesn't kill my paint. I did this little hose on the bottom. Hey, my wife. Okay, uh, this. <laughs> She's worried about the, the, the laundry detergent. No, it's not new. A uh, little uh, hose over here, so uh, whatever drains out uh, goes directly to this, and then I'll throw it away. The concept is pretty much to pump with the fuel. Well, I mean, with the uh, fluid inside, pump it. When you squeeze it, uh, there's pressure being built up it sends it down towards the caliper so that's why you want this open uh, air is gonna come out and initial uh, brake fluid is gonna come out slowly slowly every time you pump uh, by the way every time you pump and when when you let go you need to close this because if you don't close this air goes back into the system so what you want to do is press open Bubbles and uh, liquid will come out, close it, then release again. This During this whole time, the level of uh, brake uh, fluid will start dropping. You want to make sure that the whole time you refill with new brake fluid. Whatever comes out over here is going to be initially uh, fluid with air bubbles, and slowly, slowly, when there's no, mo no more air, only brake fluid will come out. That's the time when you know you've the, the system's completely bleeded. Bleed it out. You close this completely. Fill it up till the top to the whatever the uh, levels are showing over here, and you're done. You see, this one says dot four, dot four uh, brake fluid. Make sure you put the right and correct brake fluid. There you go. That's what I got. Dot four brake fluid. Open, press the brake, close, release the brake. Open, press the brake, close. Release the brake. Open. Press the brake. Close. Release the brake. Open. Press the brake. Close. Release the brake. Open. Press the brake. Close. Release the brake. Close. Release Yeah, it's dropping slowly, so I'm going to refill it over here right now. Very carefully. Cover it while you're working, so you don't by mistake spill anything. And on with the sequence. Open. Press the brake. Close. Release. Open. There, all those air bubbles that's the bleeding that's what you want to get out At this point I'm getting a lot of the gunk a lot of the old oil that was apparently in the caliper out you can see what's coming out little orange black brown I'm getting that out cleaning everything out and the system is gonna be completely with new fluid that's it I think it's done got good resistance on my brake gonna top off the oil I mean the flu the brake fluid anywhere between here and there close this up and clean up really 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 thoroughly thank you for watching up till now if you enjoy this please go ahead and give it a like share with other people that might find this interesting if you're not subscribed to my channel go ahead hit that black and white kiss of vlogs subscribe button until the next time Peace out.